Today for Full Album Friday, we're going back to 1972 to look at the Harvest album from Neil Young. There are few records that I have so entirely loved for as long as I have this one, and even after thousands and thousands of spins, it never loses a bit of its impact for me. While this is only Neil Young's fourth solo record, he'd already made his name a legend with so many other bands, Buffalo Springfield, CSNY, the list goes on and on. People knew who Neil Young was by this point, and he'd already released some really great solo records. One of the cool things about this record, though, is it was very much spur of the moment. He was down in Nashville to record Johnny Cash's TV show at the time, and the owner of Quadraphonic Sound Studios basically said, hey, you should come record in my studio. Neil said yes, and later that night, they went and they started recording. The basic tracks for three songs that made it to the final album were actually recorded in the first 24 hours there, and two of Neil's local friends, Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor, both came in for those sessions. So then he takes that, he goes back to California, he gets an entirely different band and finishes the record. And it's the fact that you have two bands working on this album that gives it a lot of its sonic diversity. But it's also impressive the other way, the fact that these are two completely different bands working and yet the album flows perfectly. What really gets me on this record is the level of sorrow, that level of tragedy. It is so heavy, it overflows in the most beautiful way possible. And there's that feeling of frustrated desolation that I can never get enough of and I think it's one of the best elements at play. He blends together folk and country and rock and blues and soul. There's a little bit of everything going on here, even a little bit of jazz if you listen carefully. And it's that balance that Neil finds through all of these songs that makes the record so special. You can literally drop the needle anywhere on this record and it's going to be perfect. And it's Neil's voice and the way he ties these emotions from song to song together that really serves as a unifying factor. He gets very raw and very personal in a way that musicians rarely do. And as he exposes his own loneliness and inner demons, you really can relate to these songs in that way you might not think you want to relate to a song. There's songs about losing your friends, there's songs about the dangers of the music music industry at the time, there's just general songs of being alone. And then of course there's that not so subtle nod to the southern US that began a war with Leonard Skinner. There's just so much expression and depth in every single line on every single song. And yet he makes it so simple and universal that you can't help but relate to every track. These songs swell and crash and just throw your emotions all over the place. And each song pulls you in deeper and deeper and you kind of fall in love with this record very quickly. The music, the vocals, the lyrics, the overall emotion the mix, everything on Harvest is just perfect. And while Neil Young has one of the most impressive catalogs in all of music history, he'll never top this one in my book. It's just one of those records that for me makes the entire world fall away every time I listen to it. And if somehow Harvest isn't near the front of your collection, you need to change that right now. Thank me later. Oh!